What's up guys, Coach Rack here. Today we're going golfing. We're gonna be at Rancho Del Sol. After I go golfing, I'm gonna crank out some edits. This is like my reward motivation. I got up about an hour ago, finish up some edits for Diamond Kinetics. We're gonna go golfing and we're going to then get after it. My wife's still sleeping, so I gotta whisper, but I usually try and get a big breakfast. I'm trying to put on weight right now. Um, I'm trying to bulk up, you know what I mean? Um, this looks like coffee, it's actually water. We gotta hydrate in the morning. So, I need to take, I don't need these. Got my golf stuff right here. About to go hit the course, let's do it. We're here at Rancho Del Sol Golf Club here in uh, Moreno Valley, California. Hopefully there'll be no one on my tail today. It's a Monday morning. I'm like that, that one unemployed friend. I don't have anyone to golf with me because everyone's working right now. But so am I. So this is why I love content creation. Like it is a gorgeous day out here. Not the worst lie here. Yeah, left a little short. Yeah, rolled out further than I wanted. Um, we'll have a little tester putt here. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of holes of golf, but we won't make this an entire golf vlog. We're gonna go back to my place after this. Um, gonna write up some content ideas, probably go record some content. You guys will probably end up seeing that within the next couple of days. Uh, and then you'll see my editing process, my office, my house, what I eat in a day. Uh, and then later on, we'll probably go to baseball practice as I am coaching at Arrowhead Christian High School. Why are you supposed to take your glove off when you putt? Like, I know you're supposed to, but I don't know why. At least I think you're supposed to, I don't know. If my math is correct, that's a bogey on hole one. We are here at the last hole of the front nine. Uh, this has turned into the most beautiful day. Listen to the birds. Very nice. Since I was like 11, 12 years old, I used to watch a bunch of Minecraft YouTubers and I was like, man, it'd be sick if I could make videos one day. Um, when I got released last year from spring training, I sat around for like two months and, uh, and I was like, you know what? I'm going all out. I was living, my wife and I had just gotten married a few months prior, uh, but I was like, you know what? My parents are letting us stay here for now. I'm just going to go all out. I'm going to make a video every single day for the next three months, see where it goes. Uh, here we are like nine months later and this is my full-time job. And uh, I'm able to go just play golf and make some videos and call it a ride off. Um, yeah, still can't believe that's a thing. Now watch this drive, as George Bush would say. <sighs> okay, that was honestly pure. You boy is one lucky duck, because I did not know that bunker was there. So as you guys probably have noticed by now, I golf right-handed. Um, I didn't have lefty clubs growing up and I just used my dad's. I only probably went four or five times in the entire time I was growing up. So I didn't golf often, but uh, yeah, only had right-handed clubs. So I was like, ah, screw it, I'll just golf righty. Uh, I bat lefty in baseball. All right, a little bit of a left to right, slight downhill for birdie here. Get going, ball. Nope. All right, tap in par to finish the front nine. We will take that all day. Uh, we'll see you on the back nine. I'll probably show a hole or two and then we'll go back to the house and we'll film some content. Look at that. The view of beautiful uh, Marina Valley, California. <laughs> so yeah, this is probably my favorite hole on the back nine even though uh, not much of a par three guy. Well, I kind of smoked that. That might be, it was right on the line, but I might've hit that way too far. All right, so the maintenance guys were waiting on me, so I didn't record myself. So that's the last hole you see, but I just finished uh, all 18. Look at the scorecard, finished with in 87. So finish the day in 87, happy with that. That's a really good day for me. I think my best score of all time was an 84, uh, but I'm usually around 90. So 87, 
good day for me. After that round of golf, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm ready to seize the day. I absolutely blew through that round. It is uh, yeah, 921, so we're looking at about a two and a half hour round of golf. I played all 18. It was like the perfect morning too. I expected it to be kind of cold. It was like in the 40s, uh, but when the sun came out, it was just perfect. We got about a 20 minute drive back home and then it's time to get to work. All right, now look guys, I don't know if I'll ever play a baseball game ever again, but nonetheless, I wanna take care of my body. I think having the discipline to get up in the morning, make yourself some breakfast, make yourself lunch, I think just having that discipline alone is worth something. And beyond that, I think you're fueling your body much better. Um, I'm so much more productive when I take the time to cook my own food. All those things matter. Uh, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So come make breakfast with me and then we're gonna do some stretching uh, and then we're gonna get to our work. All right, first things first, we're gonna get some water. Once again. So I don't want to become addicted to caffeine. So I try to limit my coffee intake somewhat, um, but ever since I got my own place with my wife, we, uh, I've been having coffee a lot more often. A comer. Think about this guys, I, I think about this often. We get to eat food every single day. In fact, we have to eat food. And that food happens to have a variety of flavors and colors. Uh, such a blessing, an unnecessary blessing. Don't take that for granted. That is a absolute blessing. Every single day we get to enjoy that. So I'm gonna go enjoy that, excuse me. All done, now it's time to stretch and then get to work. I promise I will get to work today. I have stretched almost every day this year. I'm trying to make it my goal to do the splits by the end of the year. No in particular reason why. I like setting goals for myself. There's a couple things in my daily routine that I try and do every single day. So stretching is one of them, reading something every single day, that's one of them. Um, I've got five year goals that are on my phone. Each With each one of those goals, I don't care to achieve them today. Um, they're kind of more goals for uh, what habits I'll have in five years. And so every single day I, I kind of look at that, it's my screensaver on my phone. I look at it and uh, I'm like, okay, what, what's something I can do today to work towards that goal? So one of them is to be more flexible than I am um, today. Uh, another one is to be in better shape um, in five years than I am now. Another goal is to have a reading habit every single day. And social media wise, a goal of mine is to be at 1 million followers uh, between all platforms uh, within five years. So as long as I do a little something every day working towards those goals, I bet five years from now I'll be able to look back and, uh, and I'll probably will have achieved them. So I don't really have a, I don't really have a set routine when I stretch. I just try to stretch generally for about 15 to 20 minutes a day. Um, and I try to just get every muscle group in my body. Try to also work on my breaths, taking deeper breaths from the stomach. And again, I don't know if I'll ever play a game, uh, baseball ever again, but uh, regardless, I want to take care of my body. And uh, I feel like this is one of the things that I can do every single day to take care of my body. Now, some of you kids back home may be wondering, do you have a job? Do you work? Um, yeah, this is my job. Uh, not doing, not this, but that is my job. Um, all my money comes from brand partnerships and whatnot on social media. So um, as long as I'm keeping up with posting and um, delivering for these brands, this is what I get to do all day. <laughs> so um, yeah, my schedule is so amazing. I absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, it, it took probably nine, 10 months of posting pretty much every single day before I was able to like monetize it enough to have it replace a normal full-time job. But man, if some of you guys have like a year, you have a year, you have a place to stay, you don't have to get a regular job yet, like take all of that time, don't waste it, um, commit yourself to something. Um, I committed myself to making social media videos and uh, I am so glad that I did. Because I'm basically living the life of like a stay at home influencer wife. It's kind of sick. All right, uh, dead hang a little bit.
Cheers. Let's go do some editing. We are back at the office. It is about 11 a.m. now. I've already gotten a round of golf in, already gotten my stretching done, already made some food. It's been a great day already, but it's time to get to work now. So, real quick, you guys gotta see this. This is pretty cool. Uh, Alexa, turn on studio lighting. Sick. All right, so I usually do this at the beginning of the day, but this morning I kind of left in a rush and I went golfing. It was not necessarily a typical day. So um, I'm gonna do it now. I have a to-do list, um, and this is something that I do every single day, right here, kind of like a checklist. Um, I write one of these up every single morning, and I basically say, okay, look, these are the things I gotta get done for work today. Uh, I write it all down, and then I scratch it off, you know, as I accomplish things. The only time I don't do this is on uh, Sabbath, so once a week. I don't do any of this, I just uh, chill and enjoy the day. Today, however, is a Monday, so we are working. I'm gonna go ahead and write out my schedule for today. All right, got my to-do list done. Next up is reading. I'm gonna read for five minutes. I like to have this discipline before I get onto my computer. After I read for five minutes, then it's time to edit some footage that I took the other day. Today I'll be reading Discipline Equals Freedom by Jocko Willink. Um, I usually try to read some scripture, maybe a psalm or a proverb of the day. Um, also been working through Paul's letters. Um, so I try to read that to, in addition to these kinds of books. Um, right now, I'm just gonna be reading this for about five minutes. Discipline Equals Freedom is the name of this book and I've really found that to be true. It's doing the things that you don't want to do that end up making you feel the way that you want to feel. Days where I listen to my flesh, as you call it, uh, in the Bible, the days that I listen to my flesh and I indulge in just whatever I want to do, uh, those are usually the days that I wind up at the end of the day feeling kind of sad, not really enjoying life. The days where I deny myself, I do the things that I don't want to do. The things that I don't want to do, but I know are right, the days that I do that are the days that I feel free, the days that I feel most alive. So I just encourage you guys, really take this idea to heart, the discipline equals freedom. I'm trying to take it to heart. I have to remind myself of this every single day. Yesterday, I had a day where I was kind of during the earlier in the morning, I wasn't feeling too great and had to kind of drag myself to the gym, went, worked out, sat in the sauna, and I felt a lot better. Got some good food in me. Don't listen to that part of you that is always lying, saying, take the easy road, take the easy road, it's the way to go. The easy road will bite you. Uh, discipline equals freedom. Anyways, that's my <laughs> monologue. I'm gonna go read a little bit, um, and then we'll get back to it. Got my reading done for the day. It is time to edit. I used to do a lot of photography. It used to be how I made money in college doing wedding photography. So I got pretty familiar with Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop, um, Adobe Premiere Pro. However, I didn't start learning until last year when I began my content creation journey. Uh, so now I'm pretty familiar with most of its features. Uh, so that's a blessing. Um, but yeah, right now I am working on a project for Diamond Kinetics, so they're developing an app that I'm working on right now. Actually, I'm not gonna post on my social media page. It's something you can find on their app, and I don't know how much I can say about it as of right now, so I'll just leave it at that. But I'm working on the app with Diamond Kinetics, and I filmed a video the other day that I need to go edit. So I'm gonna get that done, and then after that, we're gonna brainstorm and get some ideas for content that I'm gonna be posting in the coming days. But I'm gonna try and post a coaching video today, but to be honest with you, I don't have any ideas off the top of my head. I'm gonna have to look through my notes where I have all my ideas, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get something recorded today before we go out to practice at Arrowhead Christian. So stay tuned. Um, we'll be right back after I finish editing. All right, I got my editing done. It is now about lunchtime, it is 12.33. Uh, my wife works twice a week right up the road uh, and today she's coming here for lunch. So I'm having to make us both some lunch. Now you may have noticed that we do consume a lot of eggs in this here house. Um, yeah, gotta get that protein in. If I'm not having eggs, I'm having a lot of beef. Um, I get the Kirkland Signature ground beef patties from Costco grass-fed, good stuff. And uh, if I'm not having the ground beef, I'm having chicken thighs or chicken breast, or today it looks like a day with a lot of eggs. I was cooking the flapjacks and I was scrolling on Twitter and I came across David Goggins video. And I gotta rep out some push-ups because man, that guy motivates me. Didn't quite go as planned. Finished lunch 
and took a shower. Um, today is picture day for ACA. My JV boys are getting their pictures taken, so I feel it necessary to share all of my wisdom and tricks on how to get the absolute best picture possible on picture day. Now, my number one trick, lift the arm up, pull the sleeve down, pinch, twist, tuck under. See that? Didn't see it before, now you do. Um, so yeah, excited to spread some wisdom. Uh, but first, we gotta get a shave. All right, so we just finished practice. I'm gonna interview a couple of these guys real quick before we head out for the day. I didn't get any footage of practice. But uh, what's up, man? Would you say that a, a hot dog is a sandwich, yes or no? No. Why not? Because uh, it's not. Good answer, all right, here we go. You say you have a lot better answer than that. What is it? it hot is, dog a sandwich. It is not a sandwich because it is three sides of bread. It goes around it twice, or three oh. times. Is it but three or is it one? No, it's it's three, because it, it goes around it's three three, three sides, sides of the hot dog. Of bread. Okay. But you know, the See, sandwich you sandwich is top and bottom, so it's only two sides. Okay, all right. Fair, yeah. yeah. So what about, okay, so how about this? So you go to Subway, Subway's known for its sandwiches. Um, you go to Subway, you order a sub. Um, I think it's usually connected all the way around, is it not? Now, when they when they first cut it, yeah. it's connected, but then once they put the stuff on it and fold it over, then it's ripped. Then it's ripped, so then, so then the, it's, it's the rib that makes it a sandwich. It's a sandwich. Is it a hot dog before that? <laughs> yes, it's a hot dog before that. All right. It is okay. a hot dog. Perfect. <laughs> Today we did some batting practice with the JV team, and we also did some pop-up priority, so that was good stuff. Also, beautiful night out here. Um, it has been raining like crazy, and today it's actually not that bad to where we can be wearing some short sleeves, and it's not a big deal. We're looking pretty good today for our uh, photos. Our team photos looked amazing, so excited about those. I still look like a player. Like, I look like I should be playing in high school right now. I'm probably like the youngest coach in town, for sure, actually. Anyways, I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna make some dinner, um, and then probably edit some footage that I took today for the vlog. Also, I haven't hit the gym yet today, so I probably will do that. And if I do, I'll try to get some clips of that. So, maybe see you at the gym. Okay, so we're here at Esporta Fitness in uh, Highland? Uh, Highland. We're gonna get warmed up on the bike. We're gonna do some hamstring work. Yeah, that's all I got. Uh, how long should we do the bike? What do you think? Eight, eight minutes on the bike. All right, we're gonna do eight strong minutes on the bike and then uh, move on to the next thing. Uh, after I move my seat up, this is too low. Oh, it doesn't have a thing. We're moving over. Let's try this one. It's stuck. Nope, there we go. Ah. Okay, whose feet were in this? Nope, there we go, it opened up. I swear it was like really small. I don't think I could have fit my hand in it. Eight minutes starts now. We'll see you in eight minutes. Now, don't be fooled by me going on this bike. Not a big cardio guy, really, ever. Um, this just so happens to be one of our warm-up methods. And uh, it's also nice that it's a secluded part of the gym. You guys can't see this, but it's packed. Literally every single treadmill is taken upstairs. It is like as busy as it possibly gets. I'm already a little like embarrassed to take my camera out in public, um, but I'm getting more used to it. I will say that, I'm starting to not care as much, but this gym of course is like packed when we come here to film <laughs> vlog, um, but that's okay. We're gonna get our work in, we're gonna document it anyways. Shout out to Gigi for recording for me and exercising with me. Finished on the bike, change of plans. We're going to be doing abs. So we're gonna do a little ab circuit that I've done for several years now. Strings. It's much more of a dynamic movement. You have to really stabilize. We're gonna do a couple sets of this, and then we're gonna do some single leg RDLs. That'll get the hamstrings right. And of course, finishing up with the arm farm. Absolutely. Time to stretch. I bought this futon from Walmart. 
for $170. Definitely getting my money's worth. After finishing up that last set, I went in the sauna, got a shower, and now we're back at the studio. This has been a nice full day, and I'm ready to finish it with some Z's. This is my first time doing a day in the life vlog, so if you get the chance, give me some feedback. Let me know what I should include next time. I'm gonna go sleep. Coach Rack, let's grow.